right, everybody, look, uh, welcome back. You know, a few weeks ago, we did a segment called uh, What He Really Means, and it's where I break down the real meaning behind some of these shady texts that uh, every woman has received from a guy at some point in her life. And after the segment aired, our social media pages just lit up mm -hmm. with viewers commenting about it and submitting confusing texts of their own to try to say, Steve, can you help me? So, back my popular man, this is What He Really Means. All right, let's go. Uh, this is Whitney. Whitney, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so set this text up for us. All right, so I met this guy on a dating app. After our second date, I saw him in a cafe where we had previously went to the day before. I saw him with another girl that looked exactly like me. I was confused, so. Okay, so here's the first text. After that, he said, uh, hi, Whitney. Uh, did you see me at the restaurant today? I just saw you walking out with food and wasn't sure it was you. <laughs> to be honest, I was with a gal I've been kind of dating for a month or two, not sure if you saw her, not sleeping around, FYI. <laughs> Your reply was, it's okay. I didn't want it to be awkward. Thanks for being honest. Okay, now mm -hmm. here's, here's, here's what he really means. Mm. Let, let me help you. Please, I need it. The deal says, Whitney, did you see me at the restaurant today? I just saw you walking out with food and wasn't sure it was you. You know good and hell well that was her. <laughs> then it says, I was with a gal I've been dating for a month or two, not sure if you saw her, not sleeping around, FYI. Two months? Hmm. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> you said, it's okay, I don't want to be awkward. Thanks for being honest. Okay, so then what happened? After that, we stopped seeing each other, but we were friends, like, we text each other back Kinda and forth. Kind of off and on. Right, exactly. Okay, how long did this text come in? After about how long? Um, it was, like, two or three months. You said, want some company? He replied, yeah, but the girl upstairs is super loud, and it would be weird. She listens to a lot of hip-hop. I'm also a mess and don't feel like showering. You, you replied, got it. All right, let's set up the third text. Basically, it was, it was the end. This is how it ended. Okay, well, let's go. He said, hi, Whitney. I just thought I'd let you know. I have a girlfriend now. I didn't know them when you and I were spending time together. I think it's best we don't stay in touch as I want this relationship I have to really work. He's already been behind your back mm -hmm. since the very beginning. This is not a good guy. I want you to understand, too, ladies, this honesty, when you, this is fake honesty. It's when a guy feels like, well, I'm gonna tell you this, but he don't really tell you nothing. <laughs> so we got it? I got it. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> okay, uh, who in the audience has received a text message that has kind of gotten them confused. Raise your hand if you've read. Okay, where's, where's Macy? I gotta come up there. <laughs> Hi, Macy, how you doing? I'm doing well, how okay, are you? Okay, okay, here, let me see your phone. He said, can't wait to do happy hour again. You said, yeah, it was really fun hanging out. He said, purple looks good on you. What was the purple for? Um, the purple was actually for me. Um, I had Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four, um, diagnosed in December, and I'm in remission as of July 12th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I asked everyone at my work to wear purple. Oh, cool. Because that's the ribbon color. Cool, that's the ribbon color. Yep. So everybody wore purple. Okay, so now I got some context for this. Okay, so let's go back. He said, purple looks good on you. You said, oh, really? He said, Gotta go, see you at work. You said, should we hang out again soon? Then he puts a purple <laughs> devil <laughs> and said, I'm not sure. I guess a devil with that sneaky look on his face kinda means, mmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Is that what that means? That's what I thought it meant. Right, that's confusing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the last time you talked to him? Yes. Mm -hmm. So have you responded? No. I didn't know what to say. Okay, well, let me see. Let me help you. Give me your phone. You know how to work you it? Know. 
She said, yeah, I know how to send a text. Okay, so now, it says, should we hang out again, Purple Devil? Then he says, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Do you kind of like the guy? I did, but he's been confusing and weird now, so. Okay, let's well, let's, okay, well, since you like him, let's not end it. Just go, me either, and then. <laughs> yeah. You like that? Yes, like Hell that. yeah, sin. sin. <laughs> Bam! Me either. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna see if Macy's man responded. Don't go away, we'll find out. All right, everybody, uh, we're back with uh, what he really means. Uh, this is where I break down uh, what the real message is behind some of your man's confusing text messages. Okay, let's check back with Macy. Macy, if you remember, Macy was confused on how to respond to this text message. <laughs> so I responded for Macy. And my response was simple. <laughs> Me either. And then... <laughs> WT... <laughs> then he responded, who is this? <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what to respond. You don't have to be mean. Just say, oh, nobody. Oh, yeah. nice. And just let him figure it out. What y'all think of that? <laughs> oh, nobody. We'll see if he responds <laughs> later on. We'll kind of keep up with it. Uh, all right, so I have another one, everybody. I'm sitting here with uh, Anila. Is it Anila? That's right. Anila, who also has a confusing text, uh, kind of set this up for us. Well, I think back in May, I was at an event and um, met a guy who was full of the lines. Uh, got into banter, you know, we're hitting it off. And then later on in the evening, he said, hey, um, great to meet you, let's go and get some tea. That's it, we had tea and I thought, great. And then um, left it at that. Then it kind of went quiet. Uh -huh. About a month later, I'm sitting on my couch and I get this text, how's it going? So on June 15th, he texts you, hi there, how have you been? You said, who is this please? Cause you've deleted it, right? right? No name comes up. He said, uh, I've been super busy remodeling my home. No time for anything. You said, where did we meet? He said, at a party, we shared tea. You said, oh, I remember you just disappeared. Not sure why men do that. <laughs> 17 days later, <laughs> This, this is what I hate about men. <laughs> 17 days later, he texts, hi, how are you? <laughs> Wait a minute, dude, 17 days. You replied, good, thanks. 14 days later, he texts, how in the world are you? <laughs> and that's when you replied, please stop getting in touch sporadically. Not sure what you want, to be honest. You men have issues, and I'm not prepared <laughs> to be on your list of women to contact when you have run out of women. You better type, girl. You better type a response. He said, I have no list. I'm too busy cleaning and improving myself. You know how nasty you got to be <laughs> when it take you 14 days to watch? <laughs> then he said, I'm down a few pounds as well. Either way, I'm not worried. I was gonna ask you out Tuesday night. First of all, I wanna apologize uh, to women around the world <laughs> for some of our behavior. <laughs> Here's what this means, and I, you caught it when you said a list of women, you are spot on with it. He has set a lot of traps out there and he gotta keep coming back to check the traps to see if anything's in it. When you see foolishness, please don't be amazed at the audacity of men because it's audacity because they've gotten away with it before. So just know that. Nip it in the bud when you see it. I think what you did was absolutely brilliant. You, you, listen. 
First of all, all men don't do this. The man that really wants you will not behave this way. But you don't have to teach this guy right here. You want to teach men who are interested in you on how you want to be treated. We're very teachable and we're, and we're amicable to this type of thing. Did, has, he, has he responded yet? No, because I flatlined on him. <laughs> I thought... Play, play his game. You know what I think? I think this is done the right way. I love your original text. Your, your soulmate is walking around out here. You just need that one guy to come along. The one guy that's just right for you. And it's only one. <laughs> okay, so Macy, he didn't respond yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you some advice for walking in Monday. Mm-hmm. He knows who you are. He's not stupid. It's, in, it's, it's on the text feed. He knows mm-hmm. exactly who you are. Walk into work like you don't even know him. Speak to everybody. You're doing a great job. You're on a mission. You're in remission. You look great in purple. Keep that in your heart. <laughs> Go on and do your thing. He'll walk up to you. Ignore him. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, now, before we go, we met Macy earlier in the show. Everybody remembers that. She wanted my help responding to some flirty text messages from a coworker. Well, let's take a look at the last response. This was, I'm not sure. I said, me either. Then the text came in, who is this? I told her to just say, oh, nobody, since you don't remember. Well, he actually continued to respond. But you're never going to believe this, because the response wasn't from him. The response was from his new girlfriend. (laughs) Now, We can't put it on the screen, but I will let her read the response to you. So it says, why are you texting my boyfriend? Are you who he was with last night? Don't you know we've been together for five weeks? It it was not me. This dude's girlfriend got the phone and said, why are you texting my boyfriend? Are you the girl from last night? Macy, how do you feel about what was written there? (sighs) He's a player, obviously. Yeah. Well, since she has his phone, you don't have to do this. But my response (laughs) would be, no, I'm not the girl from last night. I'm the girl from the other night. (laughs) Are you typing that? Yeah. Oh. That's what... Yeah. Yeah. I'm the girl from the other... Sent. Sent. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you do it. Y'all, give it up for Macy. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.